How's it going? <laughs> he spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. He was trained for this. I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just gonna eat me alive. You're not gonna wanna hear this, but that Prince Henry is so yummy. Nora, no, he's such a snob. Oh, you know what is obscene? Mm. Is how attractive the president's son is. Henry! What's up? Long time no see. Alex? He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, I swear that he is not 6'2. Did your parents send you to snobbery school, or does looking down on people just come naturally to you? Well, in your case, I would say it's rather inevitable. We are the same height. If you say so, Alex. Great to see you. You too, your majesty. Actually, it's your royal highness. Your majesty is reserved for the king. Oh, thank you for the etiquette lesson. You are desperately in need of one. You know what? I sent you to London with some pretty simple instructions. Represent the family at the royal wedding and don't cause an international incident. Henry shoved me. An urge I currently share with the prince. Henry! I don't want to screw up the schedule. You must stand to the right of his royal highness. Is that protocol or just his good side? Both. Can you two scooch in a little closer together? My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. Are we finished here? Yes, Your Royal Highness. Dick. One thing I most admire about Alex is his willingness to admit when he's wrong. Wonderful, wonderful trait to have. Okay, get up, sit in the room. Are you serious right now? You don't know this, but Henry does the best freestyle raps. Well, Come on, do a little front. No, that's not. Oh my God, it is. It is, isn't it? Don't minimize it. it. How, how could I possibly? It's already as minimal as it gets. Don't you do an incredible Barbara Streisand impression? <laughs> <laughs> Voice of an angel, this one, really. I love hanging out with this guy. Are you seriously telling me that one meeting years ago in which, yes, I admittedly acted ungenerously towards you, has occupied such a vast mental and emotional space okay. in your head? Sure, when you put it like that. See you in a few months, Your Majesty. Later, Sean. But I think it's telling that in it, no matter... Have I surprised you in any way? Nope. You are just as ghastly as I imagined. <laughs> yeah, because it's so hard for a prince to get a date. People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. Henry kind of kissed me? I totally privately called that. The campaign putting your memo into action? Because they should. Is this the year the Democrats finally flip Texas? He grabbed my hair in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. I know, I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop talking. Wait a minute. Wait. 
Prime Minister, this is my son, Alex. It's good to see you and His Royal Highness on better terms and not on the floor. Yes, Prime Minister. Henry and I are much happier against walls. <laughs> First, you've been like completely obsessed with Henry for years. I've not Do been... not interrupt me. You've been long distance text flirting with him all day, every day for months. You uh... spent the entire New Year's party straight up ignoring the who's who of hot young women in order to talk to Henry. And uh, he kissed you and you liked it. So, objectively, what do you think that means? I'm going to do some very bad things to you. Well, hopefully, we'll get through tonight without any more scandals from these two. All right, fellas, time's up. We gotta get back to... Oh, God. The night is young, Ma. So, are you still... like Stonehenge? Your royal hardness? <laughs> You're late. Just to put it out there, I am as gay as a maple. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea what a maple, maple. is. Maple, <laughs> right. Are they known for their homosexual tendencies? Oh, oh God, yes. Notorious. Yeah. Notorious for it. My father's surname was Fox, so my full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stewart Fox. <laughs> And I thought Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. Oh. Okay, wait a No, that's Get not what I meant. Get over I yourself, <laughs> your majesty. It's your royal highness. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. Can he ever belong to someone else? Only momentarily. I think we should make love tonight. Oh. I'm, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> but I mean, who says make love anymore? We're gonna like listen to Lana Del Rey when we do all it? All right, all right. <laughs> But should I also tell you that when we're apart, your body comes back to me in my dreams? I can feel your skin against mine, and it makes every bone in my body ache. Good morning. <laughs> Zara? Breathe. Don't you tell me what to do. Hmm, what's your favorite movie? In the Mood for Love. I've never seen it. God, sometimes I forget how uncultured you Americans are. It is only the swooniest movie of all time. Swooniest? Is that even a word? Yes, of course it is. But you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Well, technically, I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. What I mean to say is, Henry, I'm going on a goddamn crumpet by sunset, and if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. You got me? Loud and clear. My life is the crown, and yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. I can love you, and want you, and, and still not want that life. When I was younger, I would dream of taking somebody I loved here. And he'd love it as much as I did. We dance right here amidst all these statues. Just a dark pubescent fantasy.
I want you to have some part of me until you can have all of me again. Now we're even. He does this thing when he's worried. Furrows his eyebrows. It's the cutest thing. God, I miss him. Oh, my God. Have you heard from your grandfather yet? Not a word. Part of me wonders if their entire strategy is to deny I ever existed. Can't keep you locked away forever. We really need to get you a book on English history. <laughs> Alex and I love each other deeply. And we are committed to each other deeply. But there is another truth that's much simpler. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. He has captured my heart and made my life immeasurably better. I love His Royal Highness, Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stuart Fox. Your speech was beautiful. It made me very proud to be your boyfriend. I'm always proud to be your boyfriend. Oh, sorry, I'm white and upper class, so my affection comes with strings. <laughs> my boy. Are you sure this is what you want? There is no turning back if you go out there now. I certainly hope not. I love you. I love you more. I think that's up for debate. <laughs>